welcome to the Activated Story Theater's 188th podcast. This episode we bring you The Chinese Mirror, a story from Korea? Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dennis. And I'm Kimberly. And together we are the Activated, Activated Actors. Actors! We are coming to you from Scarsdale, New York. We have done quite a bit of adventuring since last month when we brought you a story. Last time we were in Mashpee, Massachusetts, and we headed north all the way to Maine. We went to Acadia National Park. We had a few stops in between. One involved skydiving, and we went on a bunch of sailboats, and we've done a lot of adventuring since we last spoke to you. Yes, it's been really dull, just dropping out of a plane and all that <laughs> stuff. Uh, and there are videos up online. You can watch us on YouTube now. We have got an exciting YouTube channel. We've had a channel for a while. We've just got it really going with some Gozas on the Go, Activated Adventures coming at you every week on Sunday at 3 o'clock. You can tune in and watch our adventures. One of the most interesting things that we did, I think, was the Wigwam Festival in Connecticut. Yes. A uh, Native American gathering where they did all kinds of dancing. And they, it was a competition. They were competing. They for... were competing. They have all kinds of different categories that they compete in. They judge them on their regalia and the accuracy of their dance. And um, they award winners and whatnot. And it's a great festivity. We had a great we just happened upon it we didn't even know that it was going to be there um, so we were kind of lucky in that we got a chance to go and watch it and uh, another thing I really loved was in Kennebunkport Maine we took a ride on what's called the eco adventure tour mm -hmm. and they call it adventure because you you don't it's not a, a leisurely sailboat cruise you get on this little boat that has it's like a rubber raft but has, it's got but, a motor but it has seats that look like saddles because you have to hold on they zoom up to 55 miles per hour yeah we went pretty fast and you'd go it's in the ocean so you're you know going over the waves and you go fly high and then you crash down and you fly high and you crash down and, and it took us six miles offshore to see a lighthouse that most people don't get to see on a, on a tiny little island we got to do that we went to booth bay railway village which is an old time village and there's uh they have a collection of antique cars and of course trains and it's like a recreated village um, in booth bay maine this is one of our first visits to maine we have not spent uh, any time in maine up until uh, this month right also in maine we did monkey see monkey do which is oh, an amazing a, a, obstacle course an obstacle ropes uh, course yes it was a challenge course and it was definitely challenging i like the way they have it laid out it doesn't look like much when you're just driving by but it is uh well worth it there's several levels and and if you pass the first level, then you can go up to the second level, third level. And if you're not comfortable, then you just stay on that first level as long as you want. Um, but we definitely challenged ourselves. So I did something that even though I skydive, <laughs> I had a hard time. I have a hard time falling and I don't like to fall, but we both did it. You are, you're on a platform about 20 feet high and you, you sit down and you actually fall off sideways. So I took a bit of courage, mm. but... Um, we did it. I did it three times. Uh, I loved it. Yeah, well, <laughs> brag about it. Why don't you? I'm happy I made it through once. <laughs> uh, that's, of course, also on our video. Like I said, you can check out our YouTube. Uh, you want to go to Activated Shows if you want to see the video of all of these adventures we've been having. We also saw the world's largest globe up in Maine. It's at the Garmin headquarters. They make GPS, and <laughs> it's the old Google. <laughs> but Huge. They, yeah, huge globe. A huge globe that they make there. Uh, we did several sailboat rides, which were a lot of fun. I was going to say, we did one at sunset. Mm -hmm. and, and when we do the sailboat rides, they let us help raise the sails, yes. which I think is exciting. So we're kind of learning how to sail a little bit. Um, and Acadia National Park, mm, that was, I think, the cherry on the cake. Did some uh, some excellent hiking. One one climb to uh, the top of what's called the Beehive. It's a, a mountain that's almost vertical, and you have to climb up part of it using metal rungs that have been attached. It, it's, it's it's definitely a challenge. Yeah, well, we climbed the top of that. We saw some whales. Oh, um, the uh, minike whales. 
Minky whales? Minky whales, Minky yeah. whales. We saw minky whales. We saw seals. Uh, loved Maine. Had a great time up there and can't wait to go back. And then we came down to Rhode Island and we got to go to Water Fire, which is a fun event they do every year. I think uh, several times throughout the summer and uh, right into fall, they light fire on the river that runs right through the middle of Providence. And people sit there and have a picnic or whatever, and they have entertainment, musical acts perform. We saw a capoeira group perform. If you don't know what capoeira is, it's a martial art from South America. It's a combination martial art and dance form. They're very exciting to watch them. They do flips and turns and it's it's really, I like them a lot. Um, so we did that and then we went to New York City and we had some fun walking around New York City. And we of course also danced in all of those locations. We have our Dance Across the Nation going on our YouTube and our Gozas on the Go Activated Adventures on YouTube. So check us out there. And give us your thumbs up. <laughs> please give us our thumbs out, subscribe, and make sure you do hit the uh, bell on that so you can get notifications about when we put new videos up and, for you. And also feel free to leave your comments. <gasps> oh, we'd love comments. So we have a story for you. This is The Chinese Mirror, and it's from Korea. Long ago in Korea, there was a certain merchant <clears throat> who lived with his wife <laughs> and little daughter <laughs> and his mother-in-law. <sighs> Once he traveled to China to buy silks so he could bring them back and sell them in his village. But in the marketplace... Step right up! Step right up! We have the finest silks, spices, and inventions. Inventions? What kind of inventions? Well, let's see. Right over here, we have a handy dandy new device that scratches your back for you with the aid of seven pulleys, two levers, and a rabid weasel. Oh, that looks like it would be uh, awfully cumbersome to carry back. Not to mention trying to get it through customs. Uh, what about this little doodad over there? It looks small enough to fit into a pocket. Oh, that! That is the very latest in Chinese technology! We call it, drumroll please, a mirror! It will revolutionize grooming! Mirror, huh? Uh, what does it do? Just take a look! You'll see! Oh, all I see is a picture of some really foolish looking fellow. What would I want with that? That's you, my friend. The mirror is showing you yourself. That's how a mirror operates. You don't say. Why, this foolish looking fellow is moving. His mouth is moving as I talk. Maybe it really is me. Absolutely. The mirror does whatever you do. Oh, what will they think of next? I might have to give it a try. A splendid! How many would you like to start with? You can create a really interesting special effect by setting up a whole house full of them. Well, I'll just take one for the time being, and uh, if it works properly, I might come back and get more to sell. These could really catch on. Uh, does the price include tech support? Of course! But I hear you really don't want to break one of them because you'll have trouble for seven years. Bottom line, treat it gently, like anything else made of glass. So the merchant took the mirror back home to Korea, but he decided that at first he would keep it a secret from his family. I'll surprise him with it later, after I'm sure it really works. It probably has a learning curve. So at night, after dinner, he would sneak into his study and secretly take out the mirror and look into it. You know, this thing is really kind of comical somehow. <laughs> and in the next room, they overheard him laughing. And his mother-in-law said, What's that crazy husband of yours laughing about? Mm -hmm. Maybe he brought back some Chinese puzzles or something. Oh dear! Uh, yes, yes, uh, what, what? What exactly are you laughing at? Uh, uh, 
Oh, I, uh, I just heard a funny story when I was in China, that's all. Oh, please tell it. We all love a good funny story. Um, sorry, I, I can't tell it. Wh why not? Because, um, I'd, I'd have to translate it, and, uh, and I can't because I don't know enough Chinese. But this continued for several nights. Every night after dinner, the merchant would go to his study and take out the mirror and look into it and start laughing. <laughs> How long are we going to put up with this? Laughter really annoys me. I think you should find out what he's laughing at. Huh? You mean uh, I should snoop? Well, I wouldn't say that. But I think while he's out tomorrow, you should go in there and see if you can find out what he's laughing at. Uh, that's snooping. I know. I just wouldn't say that. So the next day when he was out, the wife crept into his study. Why are you creeping? He's not here. You can walk normally. <gasps> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> and she looked high and low and in the middle and in the last place she looked. Isn't that how it always works in the last place? No. In the last place she looked, she found the Chinese mirror. And when she looked into the mirror, <gasps> what is this? <gasps> oh no, my husband, he has a girlfriend. <laughs> there, there, there. How, how do you know that? Oh, just, just look at this picture. It's a young and beautiful woman. Oh, let me see. <laughs> well, you're right that it's a woman, but she's not young and beautiful. She's old and ugly and downright cranky looking. You have nothing to fear. Nobody would ever want a woman like that in their house. Oh, Mama, your eyesight isn't what it used to be. Look closely. It's a young and beautiful woman, I tell you. Oh, she's wearing a gown very similar to mine. There's nothing wrong with my eyes, and I'm looking very carefully. And I tell you, she's old and ugly, and she has a big mouth. And she's wearing the tackiest looking outfit I ever saw. Oh, nonsense. She's young and beautiful. Old and ugly. Young and beautiful. Old and ugly. Well, they argued about this so loudly that a neighbor overheard them and came to see what all the commotion was about. Here now, what's all the ruckus? Oh, I, I found this picture of a young and beautiful woman, but my mother insists she's old and ugly. Maybe I can settle it for you. Let me have a look. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you, but you're both cuckoo. It's not a woman at all. It's a man. A rather handsome, charming, and uh, intelligent-looking man, I might add. You're crazy. It's an old woman. A young woman. A handsome man. Old woman. Young woman. Handsome man. All three of them kept arguing so much that they forgot about the mirror and didn't notice that the young daughter had picked it up and looked into it. <coughs> Why, my precious little one, what is the matter with you? Ah, that, uh, that girl took my ribbon and put it in her own hair. Ah. Well, the nerve. Some children can be so rude. Haven't her parents taught her anything? I guess it's up to me. And with that, the mother-in-law snatched the mirror and hurled it across the room. hi -ya! And it broke into a thousand pieces. Well, actually, a thousand is an exaggeration, but you get the idea. Hey, I got my ribbon back. Thank you, Grandma. You know, now that I think of it, that really doesn't look very much like a beautiful young woman. Or an ugly old woman. Or a handsome, intelligent man. And so? Everybody was happy again. Everybody except maybe for the merchant. And it was a long time before anyone ever brought a mirror to that village again. And that's the story of the Chinese mirror from Korea. Yay! We hope you enjoyed that story. We're going to have another story for you next month. So please make sure you are subscribed. And if you are new to the podcast, you can go back. Like we said, this is what number? This is 188. Like I said, this is 188.
88 podcasts and we have 187 podcasts in the archives that you can go binge listen to. <laughs> and th th we go back 12 years. We started in 2006. Oh, 12 years. 12 years, Ooh, yes. We were one of the first podcasters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were podcast pioneers. Yes. So please enjoy all of the podcast stories until we catch you next month with a new story. And if you're going to be in Salem, Massachusetts mm. on the 22nd of September, we will be performing at the Salem Literary Festival at noon. Yes, there's so, going to be all kinds of activities going on there. So we are a part of the Salem Literary Festival on September 22nd. That show starts at noon. And on October 3rd, you will be able to see us at the Billerica Library. And that is a 6.30 performance. We perform stories live. We act out shows on stage. We act out folk tales just like you're listening to. But we add sets and costumes and props and American Sign Language and tricks and flips and squeezing through tennis rackets and audience participation and music. And, oh, you, you've got to see a live show. That's just all there is to it. Yes. And if you can't make it to a live show, be sure and check out our YouTube. And even if you can, be sure to check out our YouTube videos. Yes. And tune in again next month for another podcast. We're having a lot of fun with those YouTubes. So we'll see you over there. Thanks. Bye. Activated Story Theater is committed to bringing fun educational shows to schools and libraries nationwide. On stage, we use physical comedy, American Sign Language, imaginative props, and a giant oversized book to bring multicultural folk tales to life. For booking information, check out our website, activatedstorytheater.com, where you can also find out when the activated actors will be performing near you. Read a story or order one of our audio CDs. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or listen on Stitcher. We look forward to your comments and folktale suggestions. Stay activated. Until next time. <laughs>